Hello, people of the internet. So I thought I would film the 15 weird questions tag for you guys today. I was feeling in the mood for a tag video this week, and I was roaming the internet, and I found this one. And I thought the questions were a little out there, and I thought it would be interesting for you guys if I answered them. So I figured, why not? Yeah. So I will just start then. Um, number one, what's a nickname only your family calls you? Um, well, my family mostly calls me Sim Sim, which is... Arabic for sesame, I believe. Um, I think it's just because it sounds like Sam, so they just went, well, we're going to call her Sim Sim. Um, but recently, Katie and Melissa started calling me that too, so I don't know if that counts as and only my family calls me that, but they're basically family, so I think it still counts. And also, um, I get called Sambuka a lot sometimes, which is kind of a weird nickname, but basically anything that has Sam in it, my family calls me. So, yeah. Um, number two, what's a weird habit of yours? Um, well, I do pick at my lips a lot, which is a really bad habit. I don't know if it's a weird habit, because I know a lot of people that do that also, but it's definitely a habit of mine. I just don't know if it's weird. Um, number three, do you have any weird phobias? Um, well, I don't do public restrooms. I don't know if it's an official phobia, because I have Googled it to find out, but no. No, public restrooms are a big no-no for me. Mm-mm. I will wait if I have to, but no, I don't do public restrooms. Uh, number four, what's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? Anything that's really bubblegum pop, I guess. Um, and I guess What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction. I do do that a lot. I will play that when I'm alone and just dance around and sing it. I don't know, it's just a fun song. I don't know if it's really a secret. I wouldn't not tell someone that, but... I guess I haven't told anyone yet, so I guess it's a secret until now. Well, now the whole internet knows. So, I've just shared secrets with you all. Um, number five, what's one of your biggest pet peeves? I really don't do internet, like, hate things, like cyberbullying and all of that, especially if it's anonymous. I'm, I'd rather, if someone was going to be mean to me on the internet, not be anonymous, because I find it kind of ridiculous when it's anonymous like I don't know if I was voicing an opinion not that I'm saying I would hate on anyone but if I was voicing an opinion I wouldn't be anonymous because that's weird and creepy and kind of cowardly too so I guess it's anonymous hate is my biggest pet peeve um number six what's one of your nervous habits um well I guess picking up my lips is one of them um I also will tap on like desks and things like that and bounce my legs and I will bang on my legs like to tap my knees and stuff like that. It, yeah. Basically I fidget a lot. Um, number seven. What side of the bed do you sleep on? The left. So the side that's closer to my door. Um, yeah. So the left. Um, what was your first stuffed animal and what was its name? I don't remember its name. I know it was a glow worm. I don't know if any of you know what that is. It was basically a worm, kind of, it didn't really look like a worm, it kind of looked like a baby doll, but it used to glow, and I had that when I was a baby, and I know I was obsessed with it. I just don't know if I ever, well, clearly I probably had never named it, because I was like a couple months old. Um, after that I had a series of teddy bears, but I don't remember if I ever named them, or if I just had them. Um, the first stuffed animal or doll I remember having that I named was I had a baby doll that I named Alicia after one of the girls in the show Zoom, I'm pretty sure. Um, that's the first thing I remember that I named, but I don't know if I ever named my teddy bears or anything like that. So, yeah. Um, what's the drink you always order at Starbucks? Um... I, oh, well, I used to always order strawberries and cream frappuccino, and then it became the peppermint hot chocolate, but now, as of the last year or so, it's been the blackberry mojito tea lemonade thing. That's part of Tivana, that thing. It's great. I love it. And I get it in a grande, or, a, yeah, I get it in a grande, usually. Um, number 10, what's the... The beauty rule you preach, but never actually practice. Um, 
there, there's two of them that I preach that I don't practice. One of which is cleaning your brushes a lot. I don't do that and it's a really, really bad habit because it's not very hygienic, but I do have the issue where I will get lazy and then just not clean my brushes, which is really, really bad. Um, and then two, I have the tendency of, I know when you're putting concealer on, you're supposed to dab it on, but I will just kind of like rub it. And it's really bad, especially for under your eyes, which if I'm in a rush, I will just rub it on and it's really bad and will probably cause me wrinkles. But yeah, those are my two bad beauty habit things. Uh, number 11, which way do you face in the shower? Towards the shower. But if I'm washing my hair, I will turn away from the shower, but I normally face towards the shower. Um, number 12. Do you have any weird body skills? Um, I don't know if it's weird, but I can do that like clover thing with your tongue. I think it's called the clover. I always thought it looked more like a crown than a clover, but the this here, I'll, I'll try to show you guys. That thing with your tongue, I can do that. Um, I don't know if it's weird, because I do know a couple people that can do it, but I guess it's kind of weird. Um, number 13, what's your favorite comfort food that's bad, but you love to eat it anyways? Um, anything with chocolate. Chocolate is my big, like, I need it. I need it all the time. I will never turn down chocolate. Um, so yeah, anything chocolate, chocolate ice cream, chocolate cupcakes, all of that, chocolate things. Um, number 14, what's a phrase or exclamation you, you always say? Um, well, I do have the tendency to say that my mind is the slut I could never be. I actually said this a lot. My cousin tweeted it once because she thought it was great. But it's that, or I will say, if there was no gutter, my mind would be homeless. Basically, I have a really dirty mind sometimes. Um, but yeah, that would be the phrase, the two phrases I would say most often. Um, and number 15, time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? Um, I circulate pajamas that I wear. Currently, they are like really fuzzy pajama bottoms that have Tinkerbell on them and just a pink t-shirt that I'm pretty sure I got from my aunt once, but I just wore it as pajamas. But I circulate pajamas all the time. I have like Elmo ones and ones with frogs on them. They're all kind of like the same. They're like really fuzzy pants and then a t-shirt. It's basically my pajamas, except in the summer, it's usually like boxer shorts. I have men's boxer shorts that I do wear to bed and then like a tank top or something. But for now, it is my Tinkerbell jammies and yeah. So that is all the questions that I have on this tag. They're kind of a little insight into my mind and my life and things like that. So yeah, um, that's it. So like this video if you liked hearing more things about me or if you like my haircut. Like this video if you like my haircut. Yeah. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more fun things. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll do a makeup thing next week or something, or maybe another tag. I don't know yet. Um, so subscribe to see what I do. And yeah, thanks. Bye guys.